stop me if you heard this one before. People hate this trailer because it contains a female lead. Where have we heard this argument before? Oh yeah! From every fucking social justice warrior on this fucking planet. And the worst part is, is that they will never listen to anyone who has a different opinion. They're going to make fucking straw man. And th this is this is no different. Meet fucking Will Wheaton. You know, the guy who played Wesley in Star Trek. Pretty forgettable. You know. <sighs> you know what, let's just get this shit over with, okay? I got things to do. Wow, somehow, it seems that he managed to take lessons from Peter Coffin and make himself even a bigger schmuck than Peter Coffin can ever be. Like, wow, fuck me. The intro made me fucking cringe. Man, explain it to me. <laughs> Good one, Will we and Good one, you motherfucker. Hello. Ladies. It's almost as if he's trying to become clever or something like that. I'm a Wheaton. I'm here to mansplain to you everything that is wrong with Star Wars Rogue One, starting with the female protagonist. And what about it? I don't really give a damn personally, but Disney did in fact admit that that they're using the Star Wars franchise to empower women. Granted, it's a bit unnecessary, but hey, if they want to do it, then it's their choice. I mean, I'm glad it's not something that's forced by social justice warriors, but hey, you know what? Maybe the movie might be good or bad. Who knows? But let's see what you have to say. Who am I supposed to identify with in this movie? The fucking trailer, Wheaton! How the fuck are we supposed to identify with anything at all? We barely even know this, these characters, you know, especially the female. I mean, I think this takes place between, you know, Star Wars 3 and 4. I could be wrong, so correct me if I am wrong, but I really, really don't see on how we can identify with anything until the movie fucking comes out. I mean, Jesus fucking Christ. I know you're gonna make some stupid straw man argument, but this is just ridiculous. And let's just say the movie does come out. Are you saying that, you know, male geeks can't, you know, identify with female with, you know, with female leads? Because if that's so, then you're really fucking stupid. What about Princess Leia? You know, she's pretty badass. You know, she's strong, she's a lead leader. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff about her. Who knew? It's bad enough that we had to wait however long it is we had to wait for Star Wars The Force Awakens to come out, but they told us that Luke Skywalker was going to be in it. He didn't even talk, spoiler alert. And then Han Solo was in it, but he dies, spoiler alert. And we have to spend the entire rest of the movie looking at a woman who's fully clothed. Okay. I'm not a, a big fan of Star Wars. You know, I never really that had much interest in Star Wars. I mean, I seen parts of the first, I mean, not the first film, the seventh film, and I honestly thought it was really good. Um, but to say that the only reason that, you know, most men even, you know, watch women, you know, female leads in the first place is that, you know, they gotta be naked. Or at least, you know, in a bra of panties, fighting. Like... What? Are, are, are you fucking kidding me, Will Wheaton? <sighs> this kind of stupidity is outstanding. You, out of all people, should know 
that us boys are not fucking horny ass motherfuckers who only see women as mere sex toys. How am I supposed to care about anything that happens in that movie when there's nothing in it for me to jerk off to? You know, since you enjoy adding new words to the dictionary, how about we create an entirely new word for you social justice warriors called geek explaining? You know, a social justice warrior trying to explain geek culture to a fucking geek. I mean, really? Are we do you really believe that men are so absolutely fucking horny and they, you know, only watch women that are in tight clad bikinis that you're saying that n no man has enjoyed the fourth, the fifth, and sixth films did not enjoy the character Princess Leia. And unless, I mean, to you, we, if we cannot, uh, you know, um, if it has to be a female lead, the female lead has to be half naked because that's what she is. She is nothing more than a mere sex object. I'm not even a fan of Star Wars and I find your arguments to be utter bullshit. And in most of Star Wars, Princess Leia isn't even wearing a bra. Did you not even watch the fucking original? <sighs> oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Oh. You know, I'm curious on how War Corp 666 is gonna handle this video. I know that War Corp 666 is watching this video. I know, War Corps. <laughs> You're taking my ideas and using it as your own. Yeah. Well, here's some, you know, material for you. You know, get angry at this guy. I want you to point out his flaws. Because, quite frankly, I wish I was an alcoholic. I wish I was taking drugs right now. <laughs> oh. Oh. You know, I'm very curious on how War Corp 666 is going to handle this. So, it's up to you, buddy. Which, last time I checked, was empowering, feminist. A straw man with another straw man. How original. These things are ruining my childhood. No, social justice warriors are ruining my childhood. Greedy producers in Hollywood are ruining my childhood. Uh, Fucking hell, reboots are ruining my fucking childhood. I honestly don't give a flying fuck about the female lead. If it's, you know, if the character is good, then I have no problem with it. And like I said, I have to give it the benefit of the doubt and say that this film might actually be a success. But, you know... Again, I could be wrong. For all we know, the character could be nothing more than a mere blank slate. <sighs> I mean, you social justice warriors by now should not be creating these fucking straw man arguments. You should be listening to YouTubers like myself. And yet, you have your heads shoved up your fucking ass. They're taking everything that mattered to me and they're fisting it. The f oh, look, oh, oh, hey, look, oh. Good thing I'm trying to be funny. Here, there's more for you. There's that Ghostbusters. Ugh. Great. Another retard who likes the new Ghostbusters film because of women. Oh, God. We're only halfway there. And I already want to drink like. 10 ounces of beer. But that's okay, maybe Rogue One is gonna change that, so I'm gonna put it on and, oh, terrific, another female protagonist. Maybe Star Wars just doesn't care about men. I don't even have a comeback for that. It's just incredibly insulting. 
the goddamn beer. Is what I would say if I was a complete f***ing moron. The statement of the year! Here's the deal, boys. Star Wars The Force Awakens didn't ruin Star Wars. George Lucas ruined Star Wars with the Star Wars prequels, specifically a little movie called The Phantom Menace. A lot of people are going to agree with you. The prequels were fucking terrible. Sure, there was one or two moments that was pretty awesome, but other than that, it was total fucking shit. I mean, I don't really give a damn about the seventh film. Granted, it was just a rehash of the fourth film with some elements of the fifth, but it was still a good goddamn movie. And let's be honest, if Rey was replaced by a man, it really wouldn't make a goddamn difference. The thing is, is that you guys are harping on her pussy because she's a goddamn woman! Which is, you know, you know, uh, a major achievement for feminism, you know, Representation in film, television, media really matters. No. No. It doesn't really fucking matter. Okay, you're just trying to force a narrative down people's throats. If, you know, some uh, director wanted to add some Asian characters or some black characters, then that's fine. It's up to them. But we don't really need a fucking quote-unquote diverse cast just because of the sake of diversity. We just need a good cast. It is awesome that something as beloved as Star Wars has strong, positive, non-sexualized female leads that young girls can get excited about and emulate and grow up to be like. Okay, two things. One, you're making an entire argument about how, you know, men can't possibly, you know, relate to women. You know, making the stupid straw man argument. No one has ever said that. And two, like, you're now you're saying that, you know, we need to create female ladies because girls can never, you know, identify with a strong, handsome man. Or like, you know, a woman that's, you know, sexy and shit. Like, holy fucking shit. The double standards are amazing. As white dudes, if you have a problem with that, you know where you can go? Literally anywhere in entertainment. Pick a video game, pick a movie, pick a television show, pick the news. Oh, or go to fucking Congress because we run everything. Welcome to America, you little shit. What do you expect? What, you expect Congress to be, you know, um, be driven by, you know, Asians and black people. You know, that's like expecting, you know, China to be run by black people or Russia to be written by um, the French or, you know, Italy being run by the Japanese. The ma there's always going to be a massive majority of white people in fucking Congress. Get over it. If you don't like it in Star Wars, too bad, you'll get over it. I'm Will Wheaton, and you've been mansplained. Back to you, ladies. And to you, Will Wheaton, you could go fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah, we need more diversity, my fucking ass. You're not gonna say the same thing to the Chinese, or the Japanese, or Russia, or Italy, France, you know? You're not gonna go to their country and say, you lack diversity. Only in fucking America. You fucking shithead. I am the atheist gamer and keep gaming on.